Hi, hello, how are you going? My name is Suzanne. This is me, about to embark on an adventure. The idea of me travelling alone through the outback had a lot of people worried. Even Mark had his reservations. I think it's crazy. I think it's like Why? the plot of Wolf Creek, <laughs> like told from Suzanne's perspective. <laughs> I ignored his suggestion to pack some pepper spray and focus on the things I really needed to survive in the desert, like a water canister. I was so excited to get going that I packed my car the evening before. That night, sleep was something I could only dream of. Oh, good morning. It's cold and early. I'm so silly. I've been so excited. I couldn't go to sleep last night. I think I only had like five or six hours of sleep. All right, everybody ready for a long drive? <laughs> Here we go. I'm going on my adventure. <laughs> so off I went on a 4,000 kilometre journey through Western Australia. Leaving Perth, I wanted to make my way along the Indian Ocean all the way up to Expo and then head inland to Kerrigini National Park. Today's goal though was to get to Hamelin Pool in Shark Bay, a 700 kilometre drive through almost featureless landscape. Getting bored. Been driving for five and a half hours, I think. <sighs> oh well. Crumb cheese and sausage, chips, fuel, and some coffee. It's now quarter to two, and I think within the next hour I should arrive. Let's continue. Last luck for today. I've arrived at my bunker. <laughs> Look at this. This is it. This is my sad little room. Room tour. There you go. You come in. The window is barricaded. And that's the back. <laughs> it's just for the one night, you know, and tomorrow I am camping. Got an aircon, that's good because it's bloody hot in here. There you go, that's the little toilet hose behind me. And now I'm walking over to the kitchen. Just right here. Oh. <laughs> this is bloody awesome. Look at how old it all is. I don't even know if this is even functional. <laughs> there, the stove top, my work. Pretty sure that one there doesn't. I'm in my bunker. Turn the aircon on. Just uh, stretching out for a second. And then I'm gonna go out and explore the Stromata lights in a minute. Hear this bird? I can see the ocean. So in Hamelin Pool is particularly well known for its trematolites. They are living organisms. They look like rock, but they're not. They're producing oxygen. And they helped form life on this planet. Lots of little shells, not quite as thick as a shell beach, which isn't actually that far from here. But it is, look, oh, 
There's all little shells. See? <laughs> this is going to be the best trip ever. This is just such a big country. I've been driving today for what, seven and a half hours. And literally there was um, Dongara, Geraldton, Jerian Bay, Northampton. You can call that a town. Four. Four towns on the way. <laughs> I mean, come on. And now I'm in, in Shark Bay, a World Heritage Site. Ah, it's ridiculous. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. <laughs> look how incredibly beautiful this is. The sun's setting there. And look on this side. Can you see? No, you can't. The moon's already risen. Take me back all the way back. So far this trip's already been worth it. I'm so glad. I was a bit nervous. I was excited. As, like I was really, really excited, but I also was a bit scared. First time properly on my own for a longer time, you know, without Mark, without anyone, just myself. But it's absolutely beautiful. So I'm saying goodbye to you for now. And I'll see you tomorrow morning, bright and early, when I continue on my trip up north. All right, see you then. Tschüss, bye-bye. Can't get over how beautiful this is. I mean, bloody hell. <laughs> Next time on the Summer Sphere. Ooh, hang on, here's a bend. Here's a bend in the road. That's exciting. I'm in the middle of nowhere and 